and welcome everyone here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some deep sea monsters. We are going deep. We are playing some sea monsters. We got Nautilus, maybe my favorite new champion. Dang, this thing is huge. Um, yeah, big Nautilus fan, especially this version. That is pretty awesome. Like, look how epic that is. That is awesome. So yeah, we're we're trying Nautilus with some sea monsters. Um, I guess because the reason, you know, like if you level up when you're deep, which means you need 15 or less cards in your deck. Uh, but then once you level up, then Nautilus is a 13-13 and your all of your sea monster allies cost four less. So we got some sea monster allies in here. Um, the other real payoff for playing a bunch of sea monsters is Lure of the Depths, where we can reduce the cost of the sea monsters everywhere by one and draw a sea monster as well. So we can make those cheaper so we can start uh, playing them a little earlier because they are quite expensive. All right, but that's uh, our our goal kind of is to, to get deep, to have 15 or fewer cards in our deck. So in order to do that, we're going to have to toss. So we have a lot of toss cards. You can see like with the... The Dreg Dredgers, um, our Thorny Toad, our Dread Bloom Wanderer. We have a lot of cards that are, are tossing. And another uh, card that cares about tossing is Maokai. This cool champion. Maokai. Anyway, this is, you know, it's, it's a 1 4. Once you have tossed or had 25 total units die, you know, like kind of combine them, combine the units that die and how much you've tossed 25 times, then it levels up. And Maokai has a sweet level up that obliterates your enemy's deck, um, leaving them with only four cards left. So they only have four turns to kill you. A um, lot of cool, cool little things here, and tons and tons of new cards. So we're just gonna kind of see like what what works, what doesn't work. Um, you know, what do we like, what what don't we like, and things like that. But let's give it a try. Let's play some deep sea monsters. Um, we need our new. Let's use the Shadow Owls card back. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Yeah, you like the... I kind of... I agree with you there, Chaos. Chaos says, I love the champs that really evolve when they level up instead of just getting a plus one, plus one. Oh, we got the mirror match. The mirror match. Um... I kind of like, kind of like our hand. This is my favorite board, by the way. It's definitely my favorite board. With this song, you know, whenever like we've been getting the uh, card reveals videos on YouTube from from Riot. And they've been using this song in, in a lot of the Bilgewater cards. And, and just this was the, in the Bilgewater reveal. You know, like whenever they revealed the region. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope that song's like the board song. Okay, let's see. So do we want to play the Wanderer? Which just trades with the 2-1 or another Thorny Toad? Let's get another Thorny Toad out here. We also get to save, we also get to bank one extra mana towards these salvages, which is nice. And I think I just pass. Yeah, I think I pass. I think attacking isn't important. Wait, why didn't my Maokai say anything? Mind blown. So saplings are uh, two one ephemerals. We just got to play an ally and then we get a sapling. We 
need to get a Nautilus. This is just a pretty awesome match. But yeah, like we're we're both kind of slower, slower decks. Ooh, make it rain, make it rain. So we're at 22 left. They're at 21 left. So they're doing a little bit better job, getting deep. Yes, Nautilus. Are they already deep now? They are deep. Man, too deep. All right, we'll, we'll be deep also. Do you want to see a Fizz Mono Blue Tempo kind of deck? Yeah, I think that... Uh, I think that kind of deck would be a lot of fun too. Where are we at? 16? So yeah, whenever I draw next turn, we'll, Nautilus will be deep. Make it rain. No, that was my plan. I love the sound for the deep. Yeah, the, yeah, if you give Fizz elusive after a non-elusive blocker was already declared, the blocker doesn't go away. It's still blocking. I guess I don't need to clear up space because I can just kill these things. I don't know how this game's gonna end. If they level up this Maokai, that's probably how it ends. Well, so the, the tossing doesn't get rid of champions. I should have done this salvage first. Because now I don't have champions left, so I don't have a Maokai left. But they're down to just four cards anyway. We're kind of even. I can go put two treasures into my deck. They have, they, they're going to have their two treasures also. I wish I could do this to my own thing. Because I, yeah, I needed to shuffle things into my deck. So 
So we're both at three cards left. <laughs> How's this game end? I was thinking, like, I was like, okay, hey, we'll shuffle two treasures into the deck. That'll be good. But we toss two also, so it's not even... I should have played that, like, after I had less than two cards left. Then play that. I need this thing not to die, because if this thing dies, then I lose. Oh, they're at 12 cards now. Oh, because they had another Nautilus. Yeah, so it's over. Yeah, it's just over. They leveled up their um, Maokai and got rid of all my champions. And that's that's the difference. I don't have champions. They do. I can't, I can't think of any way to like refill my my library so I don't die. If you don't have cards, you lose. You cannot escape judgment. Yeah, and they have they have more. Um, yeah, having all right, so. I need to. I needed to try to get rid of that Maokai before I did. That's what I needed to do. All right, Maokai Elise. So we have three mana Beast below. We're gonna lure the depths on turn two. Beast below on turn three. Keeping the make it rains because they're an Elise deck. I assume that means they're gonna be playing a bunch of spiders. Like, this could be a Karina Control. They're playing a bunch of spiders. Make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain's good against spiders. Yeah, that was a good game. The game's looking great on mobile. Nice. I know what lurks in the shadows. Um... The reason to cast this right now instead of waiting is because th we draw the sea monster right now. Because I don't really want to draw a sea monster for my draw for turn. That's kind of the difference. Do you want to draw a sea monster, yes or no? Seventeen away from deep. You gotta get deeper. Let's go, Abyssal Eye. Oh no. <clears throat> that can be scary. With spiders. Make it rain's not killing those spiders. Oh gosh. I think that's like the that's like the thing that this deck needs is more removal. Fresh catch. Well, it was. Yeah, the, we played the lure of the depths on turn two, which which reduced this cost by one, so it was normally a four mana four four. And it also has deep, so we'll get plus three plus three. Dang, Oblivious Islander. We could use 
Yeah, I guess one mana six five is a little better. <laughs> uh, the rot must be cut away. I kind of want to play Maokai, but I also kind of want to play Shipwreck Order. We get a sap magic. Sap magic's really nice right now. Takes some getting used to. That's right. 18. So I think this should. This should make it 15 and then 16. No, I guess it I guess it did like the I guess it just made it 16, but now we'll draw and now we'll be 15. We're deep. I only shuffled one card back. I wonder if that's like the strat is Try to get rid of more sea monsters first before doing this. No, I want those. Now those are gone for good. Uh, I'm sure it'll take a while before meta decks really show up. Um, I really like the Sed Sedjuani Frostbite deck I feel like that's kind of a meta deck um you know it only has two new cards that's like my my like day one rank up deck kind of thing I don't yeah it's only playing Sejuani and Caught in the Cold are the only two new cards but, you know it'll take a while I'm not like this stuff is pretty cool that we're doing but I'm not sure this stuff is Powerful enough. I'm not sure. Check back tomorrow. No, while I mean, the thing about the meta game is it's gonna it's gonna change. In like three days, we'll have like meta decks, but then in like a week, those meta decks will be different, and then in two weeks, those will be different. And so, um, you know, it. So I guess like the real answer is like yeah probably like the very first meta decks will be like tomorrow but then like those will be different from a week from now like those decks will be different. Your opponent played an, evo an evolved Mau leveled up I guess leveled up a uh, Maokai turn seven. That is pretty nice. I will pass because I would like to draw a sea monster. Okay, we didn't get one, but... It's 
So we want to hit the three mana sea monster. That one, beast below. I want that eye also. Maybe I should have played this other lure. Look for that eye. Yeah, you got yeah, so you got materials for one good deck. Um honestly I would say be patient. I basically Or either I guess two suggestions. Either be patient or just realize that the it's really hard to say like what a good deck is going to be exactly and what it's really going to look like um either be patient or just craft craft something right now that you like that's, that's the most important thing is craft something that you like you know craft something that you like that you enjoy playing and then start grinding more more cards and just it's not too difficult to grind more cards with this with this game riot's done a, a really wonderful job at that so i think you can just you know craft something that you'll use for a couple of weeks and Corruption you'll be able to everywhere. craft more things Okay, yeah, you like the Karina control deck? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. That's that's a good one. And it doesn't take you know, it doesn't have like a ton of champions, so. Ooh, treasure trove. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Dang, I can only have three other cards in hand. I want to play this treasure trove, but I can only have three other cards in hand. Because it's, you know, create five random cards in hand. Be remember that there's a max of ten. Okay, I was wondering how that works. It only dealt one and one, even though they had... So it doesn't, it doesn't do three total targets if there's... It only does one. So now if I cast that, eh. still not good enough. Let's let's try obliterating this Maokai. That was kind of my goal, which I guess I should have just attacked with this because they were gonna make that ephemeral sapling. Should attack this first, I suppose. All right, it's been obliterated. They're already deep. This mirror match is pretty crazy. Riptide destroyed your revive deck. You can't play it anymore. Just for right now, people are real excited about this deck that I'm currently playing and, and playing it a lot, but 
I'm not sure how actual good this deck is, but it's just really popular for today. <laughs> it's dancing. Alright, let's see what this treasure trove does. We get five random cards. They cost zero and are fleeting. So we'll get five random cards to play. What do we get? What's our treasure? Not the best treasure. Two one mana cards, a two mana card. Ember Maiden doesn't even work with Sparring Student and Nimble Poro. Ready to do my part. This was not a very good treasure like treasure trove. Yeah, that was some. That was that. Yeah, we got a, Cy a Cyclops dog. Just got the trash at the supermarket. <laughs> Not treasure, yeah, basically. They're tossing even more. I am the forest. Dang, so I don't have any champions left. So all those, that was a whole bunch of cards to be obliterated. So that means this Maokai is just not going to level up. So I like, can't play a lot of the cards in hand. I just have to try to go wide and, and uh, get eight damage in. I'm not sure how how possible that will be. Don't think we're winning this one. I mean, as far as countering Maokai, I mean, we we played the so Sejuani Frostbite deck earlier. Felt like these these this matchup seems incredibly good. That this deck is just too slow for the for like that Frostbite deck. So I I don't know. Like once you know when more people play more aggressive stuff, this this does seem really really slow. Um, 
my opponents have, have just beaten me in two mirror matches. They've leveled up Maokai both games, and I haven't either game. What was that? Oh, Unyielding Spirit. Why do they get, like, a bunch of sweet cards? I got a bunch of one mana and two mana cards that weren't any good. And so life springs anew. Dang, drawing one of my cards? That's not cool. This is my only attack phase that I have. Maybe if I had more sea monsters. If this thing had eight. If this thing could attack for eight. Nah, neither of those really matter. Yeah, of course, Cobain. Certainly. Yes, block like that, block like that. Take nine. Come on, take nine. Oh my gosh, they're just gonna take nine? They just took nine? What are they doing? It's literally the only blocks they could do to, <laughs> to lose. What? What? Like, do I count that as a win? Am I supposed to count that as a win? I don't... On the record? Uh, yeah, y'all are all saying keep, count that as a win. I mean, there's no way I should have won that. There's no way. Thanks, Cobain. Cobain says, I got into the game through your YouTube videos. Awesome. First impression of the expansion, really fun. I, I definitely like this expansion. So far, first impressions are a lot of like mid-range-y type stuff, and that's the exact kind of games that I like to play. Um, so yeah, real good first impressions. Um, all right, so yeah, so there's your, your deck code here. Um, let me try to upload this and check it out. Fids Fiora. I mean, I could see Devour the Devs being really good. I like how these things get rid of barriers as far as um, Fiora is concerned. Yeah, that's a good. That's definitely a good deck for for a beginner for sure. I would like another one drop. I think you need you have, you have six one drops. I think you need more one drops. I don't like deci de decisive maneuver. I would take that card out. I would also play a third brood awakening if you have it. If you can't, you know, if you have a third brood awakening, I would play that. Brood awakening is just incredible. That card is really really good. 
Um, but you, you don't need like three vision and two brothers bond. Like you don't need all of those. Um. All right, Malka, get in here. Let's do this. So I like this combo. So Abyssal Eye comes in. We played an ally. So Maokai creates a sapling. The sapling can challenge their elusive unit so then our abyssal eye will be able to strike and then we'll be able to draw a card um i don't like this grizzled 4-1 do i i don't think i want to trade the wanderer for that or at least don't don't need to immediately yeah we have things that do one damage Do we just make it rain now? Sure. Make it rain. That chain vest is real good. Chain vest is a good card right now. Yeah, I could have saved it for whenever they attack. I, I liked the idea of using that mana right then, but... Yeah, I could have saved it. So we can go Beast Below plus Thorny Toad or Devourer of Depths. I don't know like how this works because they are tough, but I would assume this still removes the barrier. But maybe it doesn't because they're tough, and maybe I just wasted a card. Yeah, tough is definitely going to be strong in this metagame. Yeah, I think I think the value of tough increased a bunch. That was not something I was downplaying yesterday whenever we were talking about. It. I really like the the one mana, the new one mana card from Demacia that gives all of your units tough really like that card in particular all right so they surrendered because yeah like that's they're they're in just a really tough spot speaking of the word tough because i get the i get the two one uh every single turn that's going to challenge um if they don't have removal for maokai which they didn't they didn't use their single combat on the maokai they killed my elusive thing instead and so that maokai was just going to keep on making those those two ones a challenger and that's they're kind of done uh our third our third mirror match yeah deep's real easy to get in in uh draft definitely your your deck also starts with a lot less cards so i guess in these mirror matches i've been focusing more on the sea monsters and i guess we have to focus more on the toss we gotta level up maokai that's how you win is level up maokai Um, I don't know. We should probably still play Lure of the Depths. 
Maybe not, honestly. Maybe we're just supposed to be looking for Maokai. That one damage is going to matter. Spoiler, it's not going to matter at all. Yeah, there you go. Play a Teemo deck to counter Maokai. Like, they keep obliterating their cards, and you just give them the uh, mushrooms afterwards. Good. We want to be tossing the sea monsters. <clears throat> Good. Like, you want to toss sea monsters so that if you play a Nautilus in the late game, um, you can bring them back. I should have the one damage after the life gain. We need to draw our champions. Need to draw our champion. No, you cannot toss the champions. That's part of the keyword toss is that obliterate X non champion cards. Same health now, so that fizzles. All of our champions must just be the bottom of our deck. There we go. sea monsters. They didn't even want to attack with their 7-5. Hey, Moonlight, I'm doing really good. Yeah, super... Uh, you know, super excited about this new set, having a lot of fun playing it. Real excited that's on mobile now. Definitely gonna be checking that out more. Um, after you know, after the stream. need more things to die. So where are we at? We're at 21 out of 25 for tossing and dying. Oh no, they got a random card for me? That's probably a champion, honestly, because I'm only at eight cards left. They probably just grabbed a champion from me, and that would be really bad. That would be really bad.
Finally, there's another champion. I mean, I only have four cards left in my deck. But we're trying to play a Nautilus and then put back a bunch of things that we tossed previously. Oh no! My entire library is champion, so I can't toss anymore. As far as leveling up Maokai goes. I wanted to just level up Maokai right then. So now we got some more cards in our deck. I do hope to draw. Do hope to draw a Maokai. Card I really want to draw is Maokai. Deal five to all units. Like they also have a kill breaker in hand that we know about. No, yeah, so mo they they guaranteed that mobile would be out in two days, but um, it's already it's already out now. But they wanted they didn't want to set expectations more than you know they want to so I think they're trying to kill more things with this kill breaker probably. But cool, yeah, you've been mixing up your day since quarantine? That's good. That's good. Are you still able to work? You like free to play card games, High Roller? There you go. This is this is it for you. This is a very good. I mean, this is the best free to play card game. It is the best. Yeah, give it a try. Yeah, 
have a bunch of stuff over here they're not playing. I need to draw another Maokai. I know we I have at least one Maokai in, in the deck. At least one. Now I'm going to be getting five random cards, and I really want spells. I don't want units, I really want spells. We had to clear it down so we had room for five more cards. Come on, spells. Alright, detain. And that's it. Whole bunch of useless stuff besides detain. Um, battering Ram can... Can replace something. This is a play trigger, not a summon trigger, right? Yeah, it's a play trigger. GG's. Look at us with our removal. Look at all that removal. All right, so we went, we went uh, four one, but this doesn't feel like a, a really great deck, <laughs> even though we went four one. First of all, one of those wins we had no business winning, but my opponent just made the only blocks they could to lose. Really, that should have been like a three two. Um, but you know, we we placed we we faced three mirror matches, so we went one one against non mirrors. Um, there's a lot of like. This is some really powerful top end stuff. Some reservations I have about it is that I think it like one, it just feels like it's just too slow. Um, like for aggro decks and, and stuff like that. Um, maybe not like with the maybe not against like aggro like aggro aggro per se, like low to the ground aggro, because you have like Vile Feast and Wanderer and stuff like that. Um uh, no, it's still probably about probably that but like like the aggressive mid-range strategies like your demacia decks like i don't i don't really see this being like demacia decks demacia decks seem like with challenger and and um you know aggressively slanted and things like that that's really tough two just doesn't have good removal riptide was pretty poor um i mean at times like that in the really long games, Riptide is very good in like a super long game. But against again like a, a mid-range aggressive strategy, um, the Riptide, uh, yeah, that can be kind of rough. But the, these cards that we're playing are super sweet. Nautilus. This is my favorite Nautilus. This one. I'll pay the tithe, one way or another. Who's trying to tithe Nautilus? Look at how big this thing is. Dude, what kind of rope is this? It's that huge of a rope. Right? Like, how do you... Like, you can't go to Home Depot and get that kind of rope. Like, where, where are you getting this kind of rope? Who's making this rope for Nautilus? I don't know. Anyway, super, super cool deck. Um, you know, you like huge monsters, give it a try. Maokai looked really good. Um, you know, this, this ability, every, every turn you play an ally, you toss two, get a sapling. Every turn playing something, getting a sapling was really good. The saplings were awesome. Um, <laughs> Nautilus versus Cthulhu, who wins? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I don't know if anything takes down Nautilus. I mean, <laughs> Cthulhu. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's some deep sea monsters. We are going deep. That's true. You're right, Action Jackson. We got to go deep. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you want to see. Um, let me know what you think of this deck. Um, you know, everything else like that. Um, but thank you so much for watching some deep sea monsters. And I'll see you for the next video.